hello to the internet. Hello, internet. What a wonderful idea. Hello, Sash. Hello, Sash. Hello, internet. I would like to dedicate this to anyone who is currently within this group of uh, gnarly people who happens to be watching it in the future, whether for review purposes in the coming days or sometime in the distant future when I'm long and gone. Cheers to you. Sure. All right. So um, we have been journeying through uh, the Whirlstone Tunnels in the Underdark for some time now. Um, exactly how long, I couldn't possibly tell you. Uh, but have we taken any... We, we took a long rest at the Alchemist Den, didn't we, for a while? Yes, we was did. It, was, we did? Yeah, cool. So, with that in mind, it's probably somewhere between 10 and 12 hours that we've been within here. And um, that's probably pretty relevant, because it probably means that the folk in Grapplestorg have been looking for the murderers of a particular intelligence officer for about 10 to 12 hours now. <laughs> um, we came in completely oblivious to that crime, which a member of our party apparently committed. And um, we came here actually acting under the authority of some people in charge. Uh, apart from the king, it seems to be quite a complex web of factions that, that hold the balance of power within Grapple School. We followed Droki, an individual with whom we'd had some brief interactions before, a Darrow whose insanity is unfortunately prescribed because the Darrow have a wide-ranging history of mental incapacity. Uh, they speak nonsense. They can't keep basic functions of life together and they pass on their insanity to each of their descendants, creating a community that's more or less incapable of anything except for basic survival. Uh, Droki is apparently one of the more clever and capable ones, and he holds down a job. Uh, he is a delivery boy, and um, he came into this into the Underdark with an absolutely pedantic need to deliver a number of packages. Um, we captured him and then we let him go, right? Like we didn't rob him. Is that am I remembering that correctly? We yeah, him. we we definitely didn't rob him. I don't. Yeah, that's think right. We so we got, to do his, got to do his delivery still. Yeah, didn't interfere in that. But not well, rude. Why, why did we set him free? I, yeah. we, we just we sort just of did. We wanted to. He 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 was being very. Uh, he wanted to escape, and we were just like, please just take us to the um, Grey Ghosts. And he's like, I'm out of here. And then we stopped. All right, whatever. Whatever. And so you followed in the paths of Droki, figuring that perhaps you'd be able to retrace his steps. Um, he was never going to be a particularly enjoyable companion anyway. Um, and one thing that he was doing was eating samples of mushrooms that would shrink him down at certain points, or make him large again. Uh, and he used this combination of mushroom medicines to navigate through very narrow cracks and to then cover great spaces of time in a smaller period um, and possibly to ward off any of the dangers. We haven't come across a lot of um, the trouble. It may have been that um, uh, Droki uh, beat it away for us you know, after consuming some of these... Um, Super mushrooms. At one point, we reached a group of Dwerga alchemists who worked for the Grey Ghost, a criminal organization within Grakostog, the only criminal organization, really. Uh, a group of out mis misfits and outcasts who refused to bow to the status quo. Um, they had in their possession a metal, a ball of metal, or a fragment at least, that neither they nor we could identify as. I vaguely recall the ambiguous statement of, you know, a, a, a coalesced essence of a, of a black hole. Um, that's poetic, but um, the truth is we don't 
have any idea what it is. It's an extremely black metal, so black that it seems to absorb the light. It seems to make everything else blacker in its presence. It's heavy beyond comparison. Even gold and iron are um, not even close. Adamantine, not even close to the density of this. Um, and uh, that was kind of unusual. Uh, we stayed there. We had good relations with those Dwerga, partly because it turns out that Zolk had joined their, uh, their, their group. In fact, one of the Grey Ghost members had witnessed Salt's murder of the intelligence agent, and um, rather than letting Zolt face the music, they took him in and um, uh, have basically given him a, a role amongst the rebellion that is seeking to, um, if not overthrow Grackelstook, then at least get a bit of breathing space and to let a man live the life that he wants to live rather than that enforced by the Crown and the police and his neighbour. All right. And so here we are now in the Whirlstone Cavern, so named for the beautiful patterns of stone that trace their way uh, through these passages. But these beautiful passages of stone are also mm, hypnotic. Uh, they play with your mind, they seem to dance, and uh, the symbols that they show and the uh, uh, open thoughts within your mind, it's, it's uh, like a key to, a, to a, a someone's mind being unlocked by the, by the right triggers. That's what these world stone images sometimes portray. So why don't we begin this session by making a wisdom saving? Here comes the net one right out of the gate. Well, that's not good. 11. I'm gonna use my... Nah, I'm not. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm gonna use mine, but I'm not gonna either. We'll just have to suffer the madness. I'm down with the... Down with the sickness. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, well, I, I, the session I... just started, so... I'm not gonna use mine either. Alright, oh, wow. the DC is 10. <laughs> And for those of you who <laughs> suddenly start singing Disturbed, have to uh, make a percentile roll. A we become one. Disturbed. <laughs> we become Disturbed. That's, that's a good one. 56. 56. <laughs> All right. So the ones who get um, in the 50s, <laughs> roll for initiative. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Huh. <laughs> Is that everyone? Only that's the, the ones, ones in the 50s, right? In the okay. 50s, that's right. Yeah, the ones in the 40s. Are we going to watch people have a mental breakdown <laughs> and fight their inner demons? <laughs> no, because you attack the nearest creature. This synchronizes so well with this. He's finally betrayed us. <laughs> He's finally betrayed us. And you um, guys can't cast against all. Let's, yeah, I like that, right? Like, that's not really unfortunate. In the, this is for the 20s. Character becomes incapacitated. And so, um, the team. Again, great. Uh, so, so, is this just before we start stealthing? I guess so. This is for the teens. They become paralyzed. And uh, that's everyone, isn't it? That's the 50s, the 40s, the teens, and the 20s. So the 40s oh. is the babbling and the incapable of normal speech and spellcasting. I think that was right, yeah. I'm going to choose to spend it oh. weeping over the, the separation of my friends. All right. The only two of us make the same. Oh, my God. Everyone wrote their initiative. Like, let's get this done. I'm incapacitated. What's the point? What's the point, right? This is gonna, it's not going to be over in a minute. So. I can't everyone? see my token. Is that, should that oh, well, be a thing? Ev everyone who wants to, like, you don't have to roll for initiative. You can totally just, like, do nothing while everyone murders each other. I'm not going to judge you. Yeah, it's it's um, still just a token. solid black rectangle. How interesting. Fine, come over here. Um, I, I can see your pings, but I can't see the token. Can refresh. Um, maybe I didn't save your uh, dark vision correctly. I put another right. guard down, but I still can't see. I'll refresh. 
No, it's okay. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll adjust. Do we it. know how long the yeah, duration? Yeah, it's got no sight. Yeah, there we go. Just blinding your favorite kobold for no reason. Yeah. I, I, so I'm rolling initiative as well. You don't have to. Am I? Or, you don't uh, have to. or just just the people that are affected, or I would everybody. suggest I if you, you want would, to take I, part. I, precisely. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like I I think you should, but you don't have to. Well, I'm the only one that's compelled to attack. All right. Oh, uh, because he's probably going to be relevant in this fight. I should probably roll one for Derendil as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've gone two. I've gone two hundred and fifty. <laughs> Everyone's still tiny. Derendil just now one. Uh, I'll give him a percentile roll. Can I kind of change to the other number before, like? The yeah, one absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for asking. But definitely, always, always choose the first one. And uh, Durendal is stunned, so that takes care of him. <laughs> wow, that's convenient. It is. It's it, what, a, what a what a good NPC. Okay, so I'll set the scene a little bit more successfully than simply what the hell is going on. We've been. Getting madder during this uh, event, even if we didn't know it. In fact, we've been growing ever more, less sane ever since we started the journey. Some of us, like poor Vexpor, uh, had a uh, had some mental issues to begin with, um, namely um, severe dreams, for example. Yeah, I yeah. thought of that too. Less sane. We're getting feedback from someone. Um, it's a little bit disconcerting. Not sure who it is. Anyway. Um, and um, we've been we've been losing our grip on reality slowly during the uh, extended campaign, but particularly here in the Whirlstone Tunnels. And um, breathing in the air filled with the mushroom spores, following these patterns all around, you just kind of uh, can someone deal with whatever? What, what is that? What is that? I think it's Celeb. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, cool. Uh, excellent. Um, um you um uh, those of you who are either stunned or cannot speak or um uh, are otherwise completely incapacitated have likely been this way for 5 minutes already and the party just hasn't noticed you're just walking along zombie style not talking um not keeping any notes just stumbling along mindlessly uh, the um, the madness having already taken over, but nobody's noticed because you're keeping pace with everyone. It all starts, I, su I assume, uh, when Sane stabs someone. I don't have a knife. Is the problem? <laughs> well, then, what do you? What you surely you have some sort of way of hurting people. More I mean, I could just call them shit blast. goblins. I suppose that works. Well, you could call them shit goblins. That hurts. So yeah, Eldritch Blast is a good way to start. Um, which one of these punks is going to get it? Uh, let me just zoom in to see how many are actually within five feet. Is that a person there as well? I can't, I can't see under the someone in a square, like, oh, all around you, apart from directly above you. I think there's five, so, uh, D5. One, two, <laughs> That's not how you roll that at all. I need to not put a space. I'm now going to apologize to oh. anyone watching in the future for this poor visual representation of Dungeons & Dragons. All right. Well, sorry, uh, Lithrana, but Lithrana gets attacked. All right, she deserves it. At disadvantage. It. At disadvantage? All right, well, 18 yeah, is you're hit within right? five feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. A nine force damage. Bang! Lithrana. You're, you're, you're one of the demons! It is, it is most appropriate, because didn't you just post, um... Uh, no, that was from Ariel rather than Lithrana. My, my mistake. Yeah. All right. Um, gone. But brother, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? You're all demons. Stay away from me. I'll kill you all. You're, you're and Sane has turned you... back into his normal changeling form, like not in any particular form right now. Uh, are you sure you're not the demon? Don't you dare, you imposter. 
I know it's you. And he starts speaking in Abyssal at this point. It's no, like, oh. I think it's time to step away from the demon. <laughs> Poor Garn. No idea what's going on. He's con he'll take the dodge action. He's confused. Apollo never knows what's going on. Gonna try to actually real quick. Sorry, I don't have vision. Like all I see is a black. Oh really? Oh. Okay, cool. I'll have sorry. a look at that. Um. Cool. I was just gonna like splash some water on him and say back demon and just try remove curse. Good idea. And um, I'm pretty sure remove curse will get rid of it. I'll just check that. Um, yeah, 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 might not work every time, but, um, you, um, you lift the, um, the demonic influence off Sane, and it and, and suddenly you realize what you've done, Sane. But it's uh, too late. Badger's I'm gonna kill you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm staring you down like I'm gonna kill you as well. He's looking around. And I'm... I'm going off crazy like, like Donnie from Wild Thornberries. <laughs> Who's the best character? Mr. Badger. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on really, so I'm just gonna keep out of it. Dodge action. Alright. Vexport? I am paralyzed. <laughs> Uh, babbling away while Same. walking away. Uh, what? Just stepping back from Sane. Where have the demons gone? They were right here. <laughs> have I attacked a friend? Marielle, it's your time to retaliate. Yeah, look, like, if it wasn't for this, like, distrust of saying thing that I've got or I might be more willing to accept <laughs> that you just got overcome by madness but I'm pretty convinced that this he took his moment to try to betray us and I'm the yeah. only one who can stop him so uh, yeah I will, let me check I can't use any verbal component spells you could use that scroll of finger of death wait a minute <laughs> I don't remember that scroll at all <laughs> Oh, yeah, you just, you just find a scroll of power word kill on the floor. There it is. It's a shame I've got just 101 HP. You can't do it. <laughs> uh, <I'm muted. laughs> well, I don't. All my spells are. All my spells have a verbal component, but blade singing does not require you to speak for concentration. So I'll activate blade singing and then attack sane with a normal attack because I can't use a cantrip. Normal attack, normal attack. So it's very nice sounding gibberish. Yeah. Lastly, no, it's a very horrible sounding gibberish because of that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> You're like a howling banshee from 40k. There we go. Rapier. 21 definitely hits. 12 damage. 12, holy. Max damage roll. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, not Prince Durendal so dearly wants to participate, but he's, he's just there, <laughs> mindless. Alright. Um, Alright. So it, it looks like um, they're going to kill each other. What does the party do? Just just stands back and lets them? Oh, guys, no, 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 no. Stop, stop stabbing each other. We're, flat. We're supposed to be friends. What is happening? <laughs> it's, it's is is it the evil mushrooms? Is that doing it? He grabs Garn by the shoulders. The demons are coming. We have to leave now. That that's not scary. Let's go. Let's leave. You hear we'll a be roar. here soon. A roar from the cavern in the direction that you intend to head. I'm just about to stab Sane a second time, then I hear that roar, and I think, hmm, got bigger problems. Are those bear demons? I'll get back to killing Sane later. So someone said they were bears, but are they bear demons? We can't go forward. There's no bears. 
I don't know what they are. They speak in a foul language. They haunt my every moment. I mean, you speak a foul language. I just heard it. I speak their language. He yells in abyssal. Be gone, demons! <laughs> Stay away! Says someone in undercommon. You will be fired upon if you approach! The demons have started to speak a different language. I don't understand this one. I'm uh, warning you. This cavern is off limits. Was that an, also an undercommon? It was. We, we have to leave now. He starts walking this way at a brisk pace. Grabs Lithrana and starts like dragging her along in a weird babbling moment. Nah, I, I break off from you and I like point to the direction we're walking. But we have to find the dragon egg. We need to save it from the grey ghost. There's nothing we can do if they really are here. Maybe the badger understands them. Is it true? Are you one of the demons that understand this foul language? I don't understand them. I mean... I understand what they're saying, but they're not demons. What are they? They, they are who they are. Is, is that it? I mean, yes, but I think they might be more of the Dwerger. Dwerger? They're not the demons? They sound similar to their accent. And wasn't we going to save the bears? Yeah, I just remember that one. And you say these truly aren't the demons. You haven't seen what I've seen. They're not something you can beat. They're something you have to run from. Th th then wh wh why did you stab um, her then? I mean, shoot her with magic. If you wish to go back, I will lead you back, but I thought you needed to go this way. No, no, we do. The point was to follow that Darrow, was it not? But it's clear that the, the demons have something to do. Look at our party, for God's sakes. Lathran is babbling like a fool. Durendal. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Durendal's just that stuck. Could just be a symptom of the drought. Dalgrim. Dalgrim's crying. I've never seen him cry. I've never seen him happy. I've never seen him other anything other than displeased. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're babbling. Can I do a medicine check on the stun guy? Absolutely. What, uh, tell me what you roll. I got that. I'm going to scroll down. Like 15. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, uh, he appears to be perfectly okay. He's even somewhat coherent, um, but um, comatose. Yeah, he's catatonic, but, but, but capable of walking. He's starting to snap out of it, though. It's wearing off. Um, He's starting to twitch some of his claws and his nose. You get all out of holy cures for today. You did your best. Yeah, it did diffuse the situation. I think if that hadn't happened, we might have ended up to keep going till one of us hit zero HP. <laughs> I mean, now that they know we're here, it's going to be pretty hard to sneak up, isn't it? Yes. Hey, Badger, didn't you cast a spell before? Yes. Oh, and so did Apollo. Oh. I already That's rolled funny. for it yeah. last session. Oh, did you? Uh, do I have to roll something when I cast a spell? Sorry, I didn't know. Uh, I think, yeah, the phase yeah, first. Yeah, first, first level or higher, not cantrips, though. 
But yes, um, Pass Without Trace is currently active. Yeah, Remove Curse is third level, I think. Yeah, what do I have to roll? D10,000! Seven seven three two. Yep. Alright. Seven seven four two three two. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Your weapon will ring like a bell to mark the hours, which is actually really handy. Like oh, terrible. No. It means that once an hour, anytime you try to sneak up on someone, it's gonna be spoiled. But you always know the time now. <laughs> That's like the free keen mind feat. I will, I, like people have spent ten thousand gold pieces to get that weapon down here in the Underdark. That thing is—it's like Narvandil right. over in the Dark Elf City, man. This thing is useful. You're gonna have to muffle your weapon. Put a silencer on your sword. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Put a strap on it. It's called it a watch. <laughs> That's might be a good idea. Try, try to get us right. it's not a weapon anymore. So I guess every time we have an encounter, we need to roll a d60. <laughs> and on a one, the bell goes off just before we have the encounter. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So um, it's clear that these, whoever they are, know that you're there. Uh, they do have Dwerger accents, and they are speaking under common. And it sounds like they um, uh, have some large beasts. Now, did at the end of the session, did we establish that they were bears? I think we did. I think, you, yeah, I think so. They, they sound like bears. Like bears. You hear yeah, bears? they sound like bears and some nondescript animals. Oh, no. Uh, there were right. demos okay. talking about bears, and then we heard oh. nondescript animals. That's it. That's it. All right. So, um... Can you guys see now? Like, I know some of you are having uh, issues with your tokens. Can you all see? I can. Not anymore. Not <laughs> anymore. Can't see? All right. It'll be an issue with your tokens. But I'll, um... Oh, look at us. Okay, Gun will now have sight, and Apollo will have sight as well. This might happen a bit during today's session, and I'll just try to take care of it. I'll tr and I'll try to remember... To get it saved, I can't save it now because if I do, every time we put you down on a screen, you'll be microscopic, and that'll be that's that's more hilarity than I can possibly deal with on a regular basis. So, um, hopefully, that gives you an idea of the scene we're looking at. This is a great, uh, not exactly a portcullis, but um, uh, uh, um, a set of bars like a jail door. Um, and it's currently closed, presumably locked. Doesn't look like it couldn't not be locked, like a jail door. As soon as you close it, the thing snap locks. Um, so anyway, there we are outside on the other side of the bars. We're looking in to what appears to be a camp. On the ground, there is a spiral-shaped pattern, which I think some of you will be able to follow a little bit and others won't have a particularly good view on. Um, the whole place is illuminated. It smells musty, like animals wet fur and um and the territorial markings they make with the urine you know it's got a uh it smells like a zoo almost um and um what do you do should we enter and explore do you really think we can enter right now i cry in his face them, for god's sakes I grab him by the shoulders and start shaking him. Wake up, you fool! <laughs> the demons have control of your mind! <laughs> I slap him. Is slapped. <laughs> He's slapped. Take, take zero damage. He's still crying, I'm guessing, even after the slap? He's, he's probably crying a little bit more after the slap, but um, oh, Durandal baby. is beginning to um, like come to. He's starting to uh, twitch and, and make noises as he tries to speak. It looks like it might be wearing off. That's good. 
didn't Badger want to like do something with the betters or something? Can you talk to them? Badger might be AFK. Sorry, I'm in the middle of eating. <laughs> Oh, Roger. Um, uh, what did you say again? If you had like a plan to like free the bears or something? I have no plan. I'm here merely as a guide and to the rest of you. Can you speak to bears? I potentially. I need to see the bear. I can. I can see the bear. Where? He'll point towards the bear. It's snow white, save for the fact that it's very dirty. It would be snow white if you gave it a bath. And a kiss. Yeah, and then maybe a poison apple. Um, seven <laughs> I'm just trying to see what languages I have. Um, I will attempt to speak some sort of um, sylvan dialect. Uh, in Druidic, and see if it responds. Mm -hmm. uh, the bear sort of twitches and turns its ears. Make an animal handling check. It's very curious about you. You don't. It doesn't say anything that you understand. Just, just doesn't say anything at all. It just kind of shuts up. But it's no longer roaring, and instead, it's watching you with the sort of curiosity that a puppy might watch a kitten with. Um, question. When I take forms, would I be able to speak in the native language or, I, I guess, yes. tones of the creature? Yes, because I think that the prison testers belong in D&D, &D, and so, like, anything, that's, anything <laughs> that, that Cinderella can do, you, you can do too. Okay, um, I can't turn into a cave bear yet, but I can turn into a black bear. Oh, um, well, that, then you have to speak with a particular dialect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't understand your accent. You just can you change into a polar bear? A little uh, wild shape into a brown bear, so I'm not as large. But, um. It stands up on its hind legs. I'll let out some groans and roars. Not roars, but. Uh, like, yeah, moans. What are you? What are you trying to express? Like, what uh, emotion? I suppose. Um. We come in peace. May we enter? Oh, I am in a cage, and uh, no escape. And it shakes the uh, the bars of the cage that it's in. Um, how can we enter this place? Do you know how? Um, it, it looks at the bars that you're behind and the bars that it's behind, and it just gives an emotion of defeat. Like, bars equal uh, uh, trapped. You're, once, once you've got a bar, well, it's all over, you know? It doesn't rattle it. You're, you're stuck. It's a... Uh, it's a very defeated look. Um, looking at this portcullis or whatever it is. Um, More like a jail door, but yeah. Like a jail door. Does it look made of metal or? Yeah, it's um, you know, like a a, a prison door from many you know twentieth century movie. Just a bunch of bars, uh, you know. It's very simple. Um, I guess I would try forcing my way through them, trying to use my strength to open them. All right, make an athletics check. Oh, it looks like you were able to bend them a little, but not enough for a bear to get through, only enough for a medium-sized creature to get through. Oh, technically I would be a medium-sized with uh, oh, so, oh, you're a black bear, are you? Yeah, black bear. 
Oh, in that case, yeah, yeah, no worries. So yeah, you um wrench it high, open enough for uh, enough for a halfling to slip through comfortably, or a human or a black bear to squeeze through. And I will attempt to do so. All right. Um, uh, you probably get stuck halfway, but with enough time and effort, you pop your way through. Um, and um, having seen that uh, they are n uh, being attacked, the Dewerger will make an action. Um, but before you roll for initiative, what happens is the latches to the um, uh, bears, the cave bears' um, cages suddenly open, or at least two of them do, freeing the bears. Um, so now, roll for initiative. Am I still Donny? Um, Am I still babbling? Roll a d10. Those of you who were incapacitated in any way. Alright. Um... Dalgrim, you've recovered, um, and the rest of you have not quite yet. All right, this should be over quickly, I think. Um... The cave bears. <laughs> it's going to be over a lot quicker than I anticipated. The cave bears are set free, and um, they immediately start sniffing the air around, and um, uh, they try to make a perception check to uh, to find the Duerga. And one of them lands on it solidly and attacks the invisible Duerga. <laughs> Mine's be one bite, two claws. Um, they're not Dwerger, they're actually Deros, but um, I guess it doesn't really matter much way in any case, um, as he gets hit three times, doing zero damage apparently each time. I think that means that the damage is, is infinite, and it kills him instantly, so I'm going to go with that. Um, <laughs> and this, in this, this um, uh, maybe the, I got the Deros and Dwerger mixed up, and it doesn't really matter. So the Dwerger is ripped apart, uh, by the uh, cave bear, and um, the other one just is sniffing the air looking for meat. What do we do, Marielle? Mm. Uh, well, I'm in no rush to be the first in, so I'll just move aside a little bit. Dalgrim, you have recovered from your weeping to find everybody looking at you and thinking that you are a coward and probably a woman with a beard. I have emotion that I'm going to run in there. <laughs> um, Here I am promoting toxic masculinity. I apologize to the internet. Um, and I'll run in there with Badger. All right. Um, I think that's about as far as I can get. And I'll just take the dodge action, because I know not what's going on. No one does, Garn. You don't know what's going on. So we're making friends with the bears. <laughs> that I is will... a fair response, to be honest. Yeah, that's still phase rescue, isn't it? Ah, oh, there looks to be an ex extraordinary amount of phase rest. In fact, there's a great big symbol right here on the ground which has geometric patterns that are almost certainly not designed to make you go insane. Oh ho, certainly not. All right. yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast Speak with Animals. Brilliant. 10,000. We love it. We can't get enough of the Wellstone Tunnels. 2, 1, 4, 3. All right, two one four three. Come on, let's make this quick. Let's not muck around. Let's not waste people's time. Two one four three. Two 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 one four five. Two one four three. The caster's knees can bend forward and backward with equal speed. <laughs> that, that's great oh, for climbing. That is fantastic. You have just evolved 
You have evolved. You are a superior being. Nearly up Fantastic. to an elf. You can hear the nearly no, not not really, not even close. Nearly up to a to a human, but not even close. All right, cave bear. Uh, the cave bears are speaking. You know that you immediately hear their language, and they are saying freedom. Hello, cave bears. Oh, hello, friend of bears. I'm I'm friends with this bear. You don't you, you're not allowed to eat me. I figured you were friends with that bear. That was my assumption. Good, good, good. We're on the same page. I can see. Well, tally ho, I've got dwarves to kill. Uh, I hope that you don't intend to interfere with me or take my beautiful white coat. No, no, it looks good on you. Do you really think so? Of You're course. not just saying that? Of course. Oh, I, I would give anything for a bath. I, I don't have one, but I have magic. Alright, same. Kill your dwarves first. The kobold is roaring at the bear, and the bear is roaring back gleefully. You're st you are going insane again. You have clearly failed a second wisdom saving throw. And insanity, it's, it's all over, same. It's all over. They really may be demons. <laughs> Am I killing the bear? He aims his wand at the at the white bear. Can I, can I push it off? It's like, no, no, they're my friends. They're bears. So, so is Badger. <laughs> Got me there. <laughs> That's a good argument. <laughs> Fine, but if they touch anyone, I'm shooting them. If I'll hold my action to cast Eldritch Blast if they attack one of our teammates. Absolutely. Apollo. There is a small gap in the bars, which you could squeeze through if Badger's bare ass wasn't in the way. I'm going to look at Sane and be like, as your physician, I don't think this is healthy. And I'll take the dodge action and just keep looking at him and like doing annoying doctor things. Indeed. Indeed. Um, you look qualified, even if you are not. Durendal. Uh, <laughs> he says... <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I notice his distress. You're gonna come out of this like Stallone? <laughs> he's, he's looking for you, but he can't seem to see you. Can he move at this point? Uh, he stumbles forward one step, but that's about it. Just coming out of the stone. Alright, the last Duerga attempts to flee, and um, he does so, the bear can't see him, so he runs away, and um, uh, the bear goes off in pursuit of him. Uh, we can we can end this folly here and now, um, although Vexbor and Lithrana, and indeed Badger, if you have um, anything that you wish to do, then you can certainly do so before anyone else does. I think I just look around um, to see if there's a way to open these uh, gates so the bigger bears can fit through. Yeah, there is a. Um, well, no, there is not. There is a, like a, a lock hole, you know, a keyhole, keyhole. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I had to get them in here somehow, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, uh, slowly, Vexpor and Lithrana come back to the land of the living and. Durendal as well. It takes a, a minute or two. Um, and in that time, uh, the this third bear uh, is still roaring. And um, uh, since uh, one of us can understand what he's saying, he's saying freedom. And the other bear is saying freedom. But, but he's still trapped. Freedom. Oh, should we let that last one out? Is it safe to let the last one out? H Hello, last one in the cage. Are you friendly? Freedom! Liberate me! I think so. Move forward. See if I can... Uh, yeah, walk past these two bears. 
I'll try to go yeah. like I'll try to follow like almost directly behind him. You are an exceptionally small bear, one bear says to the other. But to you it's just kind of posing, towering over you. Yeah, I I keep my shoulders low as I sort of half crawl through. Just showing that I'm not a threat. You are far too small a bear to be a threat to me. I'm I'm a pretty small bear bear too. We will not harm you, speaks with bears. Wow, that's... I'm going to make that part of my name. (laughs) The cage is much like the front gate. Um, There is a lock, a keyhole but um, no sign of opening it without a key. Um, Did we see how the dwarves opened the other cages? They were invisible at the time. Oh, they were. I searched the dead one for keys. The one, the, the dead one has a key. It's a single key that fits all the locks. They, they are not particularly complex. They all have the same mechanism and the same key. Um, in addition to the key, which liberates the bear, um, you find a wine skin full of dark laid stout, a type of beer, um, a zerkwood bucket that contains some edible fungi. If you don't have any food, then, you know, I suppose you could eat these guys' food, but it doesn't look great. And a couple of bedrolls that are covered in fleas. There is little else in this room. The bears are appreciative, and they, uh, but they remain defensive. Like you know, they're still waiting for this to, for you to betray them or, or to attack them or something. But if you don't, they will begin tearing this dwarf's body apart mm. as they uh, uh, feast upon the, his flesh. In a show of solidarity, I begin vandalizing this place and. Uh... Oh. Standing up on my hind paws and then just jumping against this. Wait, we're, crystal we're breaking thing. things randomly? I mean, I'm into this. <laughs> Disrespect your surroundings. It's all a bit political for the bears. They don't really understand why you would do this, but, you know, you do you. The point of being here remains elusive. Um, you um, uh, were following Floki as far as you can remember. You're starting to get a little bit insane, starting to lose your grip on reality. <laughs> and um, and um, you've come across these group of bears who have ripped apart a, a bunch of dwarves, and, and it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense. Um, what are we doing again? Oh, that's right. Apparently we're looking for an egg. Well, it's not here. None of the entrance. Do you still have the trail? Mm, I'll sniff around. <laughs> All right. Yeah, make a um with a survival check at disadvantage because there is a lot of bear stench around here. Uh, okay. Probably an eleven. Yep. Yeah. So um. Mm. Short answer is no, but the slightly longer answer is that there are only two exits of this cave. There's the big exit that you can walk through, and there's the small exit that you can't, plus the one that you came in. And it did smell like he came in this direction, although of that, even of that, you can't be 100% sure. He may never have come in this door, or just as likely, he may have come to the door and then departed. You don't know. I will um, point a paw this direction and then I myself will go over here and um, actually actually no 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 no. I'm going to wild shape into a um, cave badger badger a badger's a badger is he a badger pretending to be human or is he no, can't um, be right. Now, Cave Badger specifically states that it leaves tunnels behind its burrow. So <laughs> I'm going to try and widen this thing so people can get through uh, 15 That's feet cool. at a time. 
it's going to be a, a fair amount of effort to do so, but um, but you can certainly you are certainly capable of doing it, and particularly if you know uh, the um, the narrower parts. Um, I, I guess the long story and the short of it is it's going to take a lot of time. Um, excavation is no small um, uh, no small um, amount of energy expended. Um, but you you do you begin drilling. And um, as long as we've got the time on our hands, this is going to be a very effective way of getting out of here. Is there any uh, pygmy wart or bigwig like in this mushroom pile here? Do we have any in our own supplies? Uh, I we have. Do. I, mean, I assume some. Well, a lot of us have a few of each. Yeah, I have a couple of each. Well, one of each. There is yeah, none so here. No. I think one of the pygmy ones and follow the badger. Anyone else? Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I got some. Yeah, I'll eat one and I'll have three. All right. You tell me how it is down there, and if uh, if that's the right way, I'll follow in after. Did we each have three or four of the mushrooms? I had thinking, one, I have three of pygmy, and three big wigs. Depends on how many you used. So you guys, um, I haven't moved you up into the bear cabin yet. If you want to do it yourself, you can. If you don't, then <coughs> I'll happily take care of it um, afterwards. Mm. And this is the small tunnel. Yeah. This is like the scene where in the cartoons, it zooms out to a large map and you just see the faces uh, yeah. in tokens yeah. moving across the map, chasing something. Yeah. It's really interesting the way they've done it. I don't particularly like it, but I think it's creative nonetheless of, of a way to represent a medium-sized dungeon, you know, too big to track, but just small enough that you can try. Fucking hell. I can't even move the export. It only gives me the option of enlarging. That's the only thing I can do. There we go. Okay, so yeah, you continue along this narrow pathway, um, and uh, there are cracks into the side of the walls as well, even smaller than you are. But um, you follow the main um, uh, the main pathway, and um, it um, yeah, it winds and it twists. Uh, but you come across some footprints, footprints that look like tiny little dwarf boots. Um, uh, so you think you're on the right track. Uh, I look back and bare my teeth at Garn. Oh, I can understand animals, so you can speak normally. I just growl at him. I, I can understand you, but you choose to growl anyway. <laughs> I'll, I'll call back that uh, tracks lead as well. The further you get along, uh, Badger, you'll discover up here a, um, a second cave that brings relatively fresh air, at least in comparison to the path that you're following, which has Droki's footsteps. The path that you're following with the footsteps smells like sulfur and brimstone and alchemical substances being boiled away. There is a, uh, a faint green tinge to the air in that direction. Uh, and sorry, that was to the south here? Yeah, that's brush. right. To the, to the southwest, that's right. Our left, exactly. Um, you can also hear chanting. Hmm. From the other way or from this way? No, from the same direction. I will burrow ahead. We've left Dalgrim behind, or is he still coming? Is he coming with us? I called back the tracks that this way. So I, I guess it's up to him now. Since they called back, I popped a shrimp in my mouth instead. Oh, so will I. Brilliant. I was waiting to see if that was the right way or not. Alright. Since it's my last pygmy shroom. Okay. Do we, um... Um... Do we wait for the party to catch up, or do you, are we pressing on ahead? Oh, bad badger. We, we should wait. Some of us are behind us. I mean, I am a badger. I'm pretty headstrong. Uh, 
So that's a no? I guess so, yeah. All right, cool. Then, um, Badger, um, you, um, move far enough ahead that, um, the smell of brimstone and these foul chemicals that are emanating from the large chamber that you're approaching, uh, really become overwhelming. There are some campfires up ahead providing, uh, natural light in addition to the phase rest, which is always prevalent. Um, and near those campfires, there's a natural platform, a platform of stone, and five Dero, five mad dwarves, are droning together. Um, nearby is a two-headed dog, which is inside a cage, and it, it looks agitated. It's two heads kind of fighting with each other. Um, while a different Dero, exclusive to the Chanters, carries a crossbow, and it kind of watches the dog as if it's ready to shoot it at any moment. There is a green glow rising from within the magic circle that, that, that suddenly seems to flare up when you arrive. Um, and there's a humanoid statue that is the focus of this particular ritual. Before your very eyes, uh, the statue grows a second head outside of its neck. And um, while uh, this happens, the Dwerga, the Darrow rather, they, they uh, chant and they seem to to grow very excited and are filled with glee to witness this event. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, I take this in for a moment, but then um, sensing that there's some foul ritual at play here, I will move out into the cavern and shape back into my humanoid form. Like and a light item? And... Oh. I will cast Dispel Magic on whatever they are doing. Before you get a chance to do that, indeed, before you get a ch even get a chance to do anything more than turn into your human form, you can make a um, Dexterity saving throw. Is there a Kirkley? No, there is a crash as you put 50 pounds of weight upon a hidden trap. Uh, oh, well, that's not going to get any better. All right. All right. An eight. Okay, let's have a look. So I think I have to consult the book to see exactly what it does. Um, sample traps. Da -da 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 -da. Pit trap. Okay, cool. So... You don't seem to fall very far. I'll just make sure. It's only 10 feet deep. Yeah, that's cool. So it's an, a negligible amount of damage, a D6. But unfortunately, you land on a um, layer of green slime. So I'll just check out exactly what green slime does. No, 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 not in there. Might be under hazards. Um. As it's no damn, might have to Google it then. See if there's offers any sort of link. Dungeon hazards in the DMG. Why can't I find it then? Um, yeah, it should be there, but it's not. I'll have a look up up what see what um green slime does. Green slime. It's an acidic slime, devours flesh, organic material, and metal. Green, wet, and sticky. Um, there's a five-foot square of which you've fallen into. Um, you take a D10 acid damage, and you take the damage again at the start of your next turn. Okay. Well, yeah, if, uh, if I would have triggered that in um, Badger form, I wouldn't have shifted out. Uh... But I'm still a badger, but probably not for long. All right, so four points of bludgeoning, seven points of acid. I'll move you over to the map, but I don't know if you're if anyone else is there with you, or I'm not sure of who won't be with you. Um, keep I'll keep in I'll mind, I can only else. borrow at fifteen feet, so anyone behind me would probably be able would to would have caught up. Yeah, good catch call. up. I mean, and I think I, I was, think... like, directly behind him. 
All right, that's good. That's good. So um, I'll move us all onto this map. Um, Badger can then be moved up into the trap, which is here. Which I'll put on the map player. And um, as soon as he crashes down into it, um, the two-headed dog starts barking, and we can roll for initiative. So it's a pit as well, right? How deep Correct. is the pit? Correct. It's only ten, only 10 feet deep, and but the pit is lined with green yeah. slime. Maybe I, think I, I still can't it. see. Oh, of course, yeah. This, it'll be the same for Apollo. I'll take care of that. It'll, I, prob it'll happen, I, I think, I, it'll probably again. I thought yeah. I selected that they can see, but I guess maybe I didn't uh, change the dark vision. Side. Okay, Apollo and Gun both can see again. Yes, I can. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Just need to roll that oh. initiative. Okay, Badger is in a pit. Quite literally. Um, I will attempt to borrow through the side and up out of it, if I may. Sure. Yep, it's only 10 feet deep and you can borrow 15 feet, so you escape the pit through a rather unconventional approach. Um... And just let me see what the maximum move speed is on this guy. 30 feet. So once I borrow out 15 feet, I'll use the remainder of my movement to move there. <laughs> it's <laughs> the Shrieker. It's the Shrieker. Shriekers are a type of underdark okay. mushroom that act as a primitive alarm systems whenever they do. They're motion-sensing mushrooms. And when they sense motion, they shriek. That shrieking tends to attack, pre attract predators, which kill prey, and the leftover bones or whatever then go on to be fertilizer for the shrieker. So it's a uh, it's a way of them acquiring food. Ah! You, you've heard enough. You, so, you know what they do. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to uh, join the chorus with my own <laughs> <laughs> and uh, dash forward. Another 33. All right. Marielle, I just skipped over you, Marielle. Um, <laughs> I'll uh, move 15. And then another 15. Have a little look around. Uh, I see that Darrow there. I see the dog. And I'll move up another 30. And then end my turn. All right. The Darrow yell, Demogorgon! And um, uh, turn some brutal attacks towards you, picking up their crossbows, uh, stopping their ritual briefly, and um, reveling in the glory of their demon prince of choice. All right, how many of them can see Badger? One, two, three, four. Short character arc ever. I guess I better roll damage each time to see if you're still in Badger form. Uh, first one will surely knock me out of it, yep. All right, one, two, three more. Our class. Um, well, it was 12, but uh, the first attack will knock me back into my form, which is 16. All right, one and two. The uh, crossbows automatically load themselves, which is rather ingenious, don't you think? Hmm. Gone. 
Harold move 30 feet forward. Mind you, there's a trap there, so watch that. I'll go around it. 15 feet. That's a good idea. Very wise. 15 feet, and an old dash. Same. I'm saying it's bother people are shrieking, I'll, I'll join in. Great idea. Sane is gonna, seeing as they've attacked Badger, he's gonna shoot this one with an Algis Blast. And because of Spell Sniper, my range is uh, 240 feet. This dude all the way up here, that's pro. That's a pro shot, man. That's a pro shot. I'm gonna I'm wow. do it, though. Crikey. All right. I don't have to roll yeah. twice, do I? It's just, just double... Or do I have to roll twice? I don't remember for Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast is blasts, yeah. for this roll, yeah. Yeah, okay, two. Okay. yeah you gotta roll twice. Uh, does 11 and 15 hit? Um, I don't think the 11 will. Um, the 15 only barely, because he has some cover from your party members, but no armor to speak of anyway. So um, one narrowly misses, and the second strikes him, leaving okay. him with a grievous injury. Alright, I'm gonna move up. 30 feet. Wait, does Snell Sniper get rid of, um... Half cover to break half cover. cover? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, the first one will hit as well. Oh, the 11 also hits? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, 8 damage total. Oh, oh, oh! And it doesn't look like he can take much of a beating like that. He does not have any of the durability that you expect from a Dwerger. The Daryl much more spindly and weak. Mr. Durandal. Prince. Yeah, we'll move up. 30 feet. And then another 30 feet. There we go. Brilliant, brilliant. Dalgrim. Looks like we're killing D uh, Darrow. And then I'll just run my 35. And I'll dash for another 35. Me, Growler Munga, will kill you! No, me, Munga Growler, will kill you! No, Gronga Ruler Munga, kill! No, Munga Growler, kill! <laughs> As a two headed giant runs into view. Cool. And I'll end my turn there. Now, I'm pretty sure we concluded in the end that um, innate spells like drow spells were not affected by phase rest, right? Yes. Yes. They are not affected. Cool. All right. Let me just. Five, ten. Thirty. I'm going to dash. 5, 10, 25, 30, to there. And next turn, I'll have something spicy. All right, that's me. All right. Uh, the dog um, uh, scrambles at the gate, um, which the Darrow unlatches as a reaction. And uh, the dog, the two-headed dog, then starts careening towards the party. Um, see how fast it goes. 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And, um, then charges the rest of the way, meeting Badger head on. Is my spook with animals, is that still working? No. Not anymore. You hear uh, one of the cultists giving directions to the others, and um, they then begin chanting, and they cast a spell. Um, although you, none of you can perhaps witness it at the moment, um, you will see later that he is protected by a magical force of spectral frost. Oh boy. Is this, right. Sorry, that's the giant? 
No, you can't see the individual, uh, but it sounds like a cult leader of some sort. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think that you can see them yet. That the rose voice commands the room. He must be a cult leader. Exactly. Now that's a voice of confidence. He's giving orders like, um, keep firing those repeating crossbows exactly the way that you're currently doing. Yes, my lord. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lord. Um, it's going to be a move and dash from me. Indeed, moving and dash, and this campaign's got a bit of that. Apollo. Got to move. And dash? What... Uh, I actually can't see anything here. Probably dash as well. Oh, splendid choice, sir. Splendid choice. Badger. Um, I will meet this dog head on, and... Uh, crouch down low as my face begins to contort and elongate as dripping fangs of poison uh, uh, protrude from my mouth and I bite down on the dog. The dog's pretty, like, uh, yeah, a little bit um, disheveled yeah, it's by like that. So, it's like, I'm supposed That's to bite party. you. Trick. Yeah, come on, man. Let's, uh... All right, well, and you, you bite deeply into his flesh, and the dog yelps with both of its heads taken by surprise by your savagery. And I'll just sort of whip myself around it, and that's my turn. Marielle. Marielle, are you there? May not be there. May have briefly dropped. We'll get Rest in pieces. The Dwerger, um get back into position. Um, and uh, they fire into Badger uh, indiscriminately. Oh, they're on auto fire. Bing, 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 bing. Magnificent repeating. It's just crossbow. a hand crank on the side of the crossbow. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. How's that? Uh, all but one hit. Good work. And the one that um, is lowest runs for his life. Help me up, brother! No! You're doomed! Gone. Yeah. I think Badger needs help, so I'm going to run over. I'm going to stamp the two-headed dog. Alright. And I have advantage, because of Cobalt ta like pack tactics. Brilliant. Twenty. That'll do. You have slain Badger. No, you have injured the dog quite severely, and uh, once again it gives that discordant yelp of two heads simultaneously. I'm going to do a healing word as well. I'll cast it to level two on Badger. It's a nice thing to do. I'm back. <laughs> Disconnected there. Sorry about that. Nine Welcome points back, of healing for the Mario. All right. You're not so bad, Jer. Anyway, I'm <laughs> sorry. I really am. Um, Marielle, um, the Gardero are unleashing their crossbows on mass into a poor hapless badger. Yeah, that's uh, doesn't look too good. Uh, I will. Try to assist by using my second charge of blade song and ringing to stab the doggo. I think I'll stand here. Brilliant concept. Uh, 
uh, where is my radio stab? My cantrip stab set off the phase rest, do they? Wait, I cast a spell with not. that phase rest? Oh, uh, alright, we've got to roll. Growing old, we've got to roll. Yeah. But yeah, 9325. Nice, and you can keep looking at, uh, keep working on what you're doing, uh, Mario, while I look this up. It's just a stab that goes wide. Oh, well, that's unfortunate, but you did your best, and so we still love you. <laughs> okay, Sane. All right, Sane is going to... I've never done this before. I'm going to Eldritch Blast, I think. And Eldritch Blast this one. It's 140 oh, feet away. I've heard Daring. of that one. I know, it's a, it's a new move. I just learned it, I think. It's a new move. <laughs> Say the thing! Say the thing! <laughs> 15 and 18? They will both be enough. 11 points of damage total. Oh, that will execute that poor Darrow. I told you he was doomed! I knew he was doomed! I'll move 30 feet forward. 9325? Yeah. Uh-oh. Who is closest to you? The Death Dog. Why? <laughs> Bad job! <laughs> well, it was the Death Dog when he cast it, so... Yes. D2, I guess. I mean, they're both five feet away from me. Let's let's say Badger, because we all think that that's more interesting, right? <laughs> I'll go with that. Alright, good, good. Um... Okay, nothing happens. It, it, it's not called masochism when you do it to other people. It's called sadism then, Arctic. Okay? I know, but I'm more sadistic than I am masochistic, surely. Alright. Um, in any case, nothing actually happened. <laughs> I, I, I remain unconvinced. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is fair. I can... I will not feel personally attacked by your lack of trust in me. Alright. Um, delightful execution, by the way, Sane. Uh, golf clap all around. Durendal. Okay, I'll move on up. Got this uh, doggo pinned in from all sides. And lay into it with two claw attacks. Alright. Brilliant! That's an excellent strike, but as you draw blood, I have something terrible to tell you. Or is it wonderful? You decide. <laughs> Go ahead. What? Oh god. my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that reminds me. Oh that also god. reminds me, Fuck. Mario, you can see through smoke. <laughs> Um, since you stabbed me earlier. <laughs> I, actually, on Prince Durendal, that might not be that bad, but anyone else that will, like, dislocate their jaw. Oh. I remember what happened. Steel ball is. I know what mine was. It was the next person to draw blood with a weapon feels great envy. <laughs> <laughs> Just all the effects <laughs> going off at once. <laughs> we had three draw blood ones. That's crazy. It's perfect. It's wow, perfect. wow, like, how did you know I wanted one of those? <laughs> a large a ball. Gift for me? You shouldn't have. <laughs> Vomited a large steel ball. All right. That, uh, that disorientating experience. Um, how much damage, by the way, to the poor death dog? Oh, uh, do they both hit? Good question. They do. Uh, 69. 15. Creatures crippled. It's not dead, but it is so crippled that it would be a, um, a cruelty not to put it down at this point. Uh, 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 maybe you, like, chop off one of its heads or something. Dalgrim. You deal with him, and then I'll run 35 feet there. I'll use the bonus action to rage. And then I'll 
dash another 20 feet in front of my allies, but not, like... Actually, you know, I'm getting a little bit closer. How much did I just do then? 20? I can do another 15. Uh, I'll do another 10 just to be safe. And I will remain there. I've got a fucking two-headed giant! Grula Manga kill you! No Manga Grula kill you! 10, 20, leaps straight down off this 10-foot high cliff, just doesn't bother it at all. Leaps straight down and um, charges into battle with the dwarf. Battle axe good, no morning star good. <laughs> Alright. Bam, bam, la bam. Uh, 21 hits. Morning star battle. For 7 damage. Oh, you're gonna pee for that. Oh, just you wait. Lithrana, a two-headed giant, has entered to the chance of Demogorgon! Demogorgon! <laughs> is, is, um, do, do we have... Are we killing the Demogorgon? <laughs> Always. Oops. I just want to read the spell description, but I suppose that'll do for now. Each object in a 20-foot cube. That is a 20-foot cube, yes? That's how they, they are measured? It, it is, indeed. It will not affect this Duergo. Even yep. more than fifty percent less, whatever. Doesn't yeah, twenty yeah. foot cube is one that's one side is twenty feet, isn't it? Right. So this is a forty foot cube, is it? Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. The twenty foot cube is only yeah a quarter of that size. That's a twenty foot radius. You just do a box. That's yeah, how like big a twenty that. foot cube that's is. That's how big it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, in that case, I would like to check this one. 15 foot radius on that one. Bop, 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 bop. Perfect. Bop. Darkness. All right. Oh. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Rula manga blind, manga rula blind. Alright. The Death Dog. That's the end of your turn, right? Yes. Brilliant. The Death Dog um, savagely bites out. Um, once at Badger uh, the first time, and then once at Prince Durendal. And they are both on GM layers, so let's uh, try that again. Once at Badger, once at Durendal. Misses. Uh, misses. Pathetic. Pathetic death dog. I hope you feel great shame. The cult leader walks into view, and you can tell that they are the cult leader, for they have the biggest hat. And the name. Except you can't see through it. That's right. They also have a glowing blue shield wrapped around their bodies. Um. Okay, he uh, points out at the closest target, which is Dalgrim. Can you see through the darkness? In darkness. Oh, I guess he can't, yeah. I guess he he. That's what a stupid spell. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> he holds his action until he can, and he's going to use a fan favorite when he holds his action, and you'll never guess what it is, because you've never seen this spell before. How about kill? True strike. Magic, my phone. <laughs> True strike. He better not be stealing my Eldritch Blast, just saying. He is. He is. You don't have copyright uh, on Eldritch Blast. Son of a right. bitch. I thought you were making a fireball yeah. yeah. To be honest, we have seen more fireballs than Eldritch Blast, probably. All right, the next ball. There is suddenly darkness within the cave, which is kind of spooky. Uh, I'm gonna do the classic of move and dash. I like your move and dash. I think that you've got style. 
And I'm going to be like, where'd everyone go? And then I'll pass the turn. Apollo, uh, would you like to also move and dash? No, I want to try to attempt to steal the skill. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I don't know, moving and dashing, it's... Uh, it's in the, it's it's the fad right now. <laughs> it's, it's what everyone's doing it. That is a execution of a death dog. Can you describe for us all how this hapless, unnatural beast perishes? Say he's too excited to, to like get the kill, he'll like run forward and sort of trip and just accidentally stab it. <laughs> <laughs> that one counts, right? Nice. Badger. Okay, um... So, he is wholly enclosed in the darkness. I wouldn't be able to see him, right? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe you can see his battle axe sticking out, but that's all. Alright, I will move forward and use... Uh, probably don't have an angle on that either. I'll just heal myself uh, with an upcast of Cure Wood. Excellent. Mariel. I will probably regret this as I cast a spell, a leveled spell. You will never regret it. Till your head is replaced with someone. 8895. 8895. That's Badger? Goodness. That's really weird. Has anyone eaten in the past 1d4 hours? <laughs> the shrooms oh, count. The shrooms, yeah. <laughs> then this is one of those unusual ones where, like, like you wish that you didn't ever actually introduce the wild magic table and you have instant regrets. What? Vanishes until dawn? <laughs> Shall we take a vote to just ignore this one? Yes. Yeah. Done. It seems a bit disruptive. Vote passed. All right. I mean, Very I, I assume they ate as well. So <laughs> we, we all just continue with the encounter like four hours later. <laughs> after, like, yeah, not a... Or they vanish for one second and then it turns dawn. Yes, that's right. They're gone. And we hear. And then, oh, the, uh, right. and then yeah. the sword goes off. Of the, yeah. Dawn. Dawn. Oh, of the glaive. Um, <laughs> we all blink our eyes at the same time, so it's like we disappeared. Yeah, right. <laughs> Every time I close my eyes, people disappear. Uh, ooh, we oh have God. successfully navigated the challenge. Well done, everyone. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you all. Maria, what were you doing? Uh, using a bonus action to cast Shadow Blade. All right. At third level. And there's my number of doom. Oh, oh, right. That, that was Badger's number of doom, of course. Eight two two one. All right, eight two two. One. Everyone disappears until dusk. <laughs> <laughs> what? This one's really not. Well, it's not actually that weird. It's um, it's but it's just nicely cool. So um. You won't notice this, but um, all of your ferrous metal is somewhat resistant to magic. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I guess it, I guess isn't, your magical isn't objects that iron are and magic stuff. Ferrous is iron yeah, and stuff. Exactly, steel and, uh, yeah. and all of that. So, um, yeah, the fuck? Um, yeah. You have, uh, have a magic resistant rapier now. Uh, that's right. If your if your rapier gets destroyed by a fireball, you go no no no. It's magically resisting. Oh, all right. Yeah, no worries. I'll remember okay, that. Yes, I got plenty of metal on me. Yeah. Yeah, you know how magical items don't deteriorate. These um, it's, it, yours are yours are kind of the same. So that's great. That's really handy. <laughs> yeah, that's um, really cool. Yeah, that's what you meant. Uh, so you cast Shadow Blade. Is that that's the only effect? Yes. Yeah. So it summons the blade into existence, and then I'll move uh, thirty-five feet up into combat with the Etten. The blade really? singer, blade song makes me move forty feet, I believe, as instead of thirty. As opposed to. Is the summoning yeah, of a yeah, sword a feet of extra move speed. summoning a sword a bonus action or a, or an action? Bonus action. Oh, all right. So you can still attack the Etten, although you can't see it. You can yeah. still attack it. So uh, there's the spell card for that. 
I can't see it, but if I attack a creature in darkness or dim light, I have advantage according to the spell. So it also can't see you, so it's advantage. So is that a straight roll or advantage? I'm not sure. Um, I think it becomes a straight roll because advantage and disadvantage will always cancel each other out and never, never actually stack. All right. I'll use my because this counts as a weapon, so I should be able to cast a cantrip, like a cantrip like flame blade mm. with it. And so that gives me uh, something I've decided to call the fusion of shadow blade and flame blade, shadow flame blade. That's a <laughs> very creative name. Oh yeah. For sixteen psychic damage oh, and fuck. fire damage. Brilliant. My head, no, my head. <laughs> That's my turn. Alright. The Darrow rearrange themselves along the cliff, uh, hoping to see someone, and the instant they do, they shall open fire. John. I'm going to move and dash. It's a good choice. It's popular. Yeah, I'll run through the darkness, climb up the cliff, and try to end up about you. All right, make a dexterity check, an ac acrobatics check to uh, stumble through the darkness and not run straight into a wall when it's completely pitch black. Eleven. Eleven's good enough. You slam into the wall, but you don't hurt yourself, and you begin climbing. Um, athletics to climb. I have a climb speed. Ah, you're done. I'm All right, no worries. Brilliante, brilliante. Um, Sane. Ah, I'm going to move up near Lithrana. It's 20 feet. Um, how high is this little, like, incline? Only 10 feet, but relatively steep. If I put, like, a fireball here, would it hit everything, basically? Well and truly, yeah. Fireball will go around the corners and, um, and well and truly smash them. All right, I'm going to place a fireball right there because I can see through the darkness. And, uh, so you, uh, yeah. you will de delightfully know that Garn is being burned by your fireball then, and you can take some perverse... Oh, fuck! Uh, Garn is right there! Damn it! I thought that was just can, another Darrow! <laughs> you can take some perverse um, joy in denying that you knew he was there. Alright, hold on. Betraying up. us, I told you. Is that, that's less than half on Garn, right? Do you think so? Just get all the Darrow. I want to hit him, him, and him. That looks like it'll hit them. All right, I'm going to do it. I cast a Fero Ball. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't hit Garn when you... We there. don't see that it hits Garn. It doesn't hit Narek, it, though, either, it though, does doesn't. it? it does... It's not going to hit the named fellow either, though, do you think? Is that yeah, I think that's over 50. Is it? Okay, cool. It is, all right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, one half of the... It, looks it, it starts in that corner and finishes over here. Finishes below the corner over there, so it's over 50. Of the square. Well, that's a, a fail. Right, row. Right. One Duro. And an Essen. Look out! Look out! Thirty damage is pretty significant. Obviously, wipes the Darrow off the face of the Underdark immediately. Um, severely burns uh, the cult leader, though you won't see it. Although, does um, Armor of Agathus negate any of that? Does anyone know that spell well enough to? Yeah, it'll find absorb it whatever it. five five or ten five. damage. Yeah. yeah, depends on how much what level he cast it at. Five per level, yeah. Just one. Five. So it was five damage of it. Right, Unfortunately, so it is five, not yeah. a fire shield. No. Fire shield is a fire shield. It is. Really? Well, sometimes it's also a cold shield. Sometimes. Yeah, that always throws me off. Like it's a, it's a fire shield. It'll absorb fire, but also cold. Okay, that's handy. Can you say um, warm? I guess so. Grula Munga, Munga Grula, they, um, they, they avoid the worst of it. 
Uh, uh, only getting mildly scalded by the blast. Oh. All right. And I D10, rolled a... Uh, yeah, I did, I did uh, roll oh, a D10,000. 6,373. 6,373. Yep. Scrolling up, scrolling up. 6,373. 6,473. Six, six, <laughs> I don't like that laugh. I'm the class. I'm like scared. I'm not going to laugh like that ever again. That's the last time I have. <laughs> Wait, the target. It's the target, though. Oh, no! No! The ground. All I, mean, right, so... I am completely fine with changing it to the caster. But I mean, like, All right. that already affected you beforehand, didn't it? Yeah, to be no, honest. No, but he could have fireballed you, but he didn't. That's restraint. Oh, yeah, that's restraint. I'm just going to burn your lizard ass. <laughs> Alright, there will be no more restraint. Alright, um, and Grunga, Grula Munga goes into a reckless attack mode. No longer restrained by uh, such things as surviving. Um, Prince Durendal. Uh, he will... There's not much room. I can't quite get there. Still have to go there. Actually, he will. But he, will. he moved the extra five feet. And so he'll dash up to that point. Brilliant concept. Dashing. It's what we're... It's what we're very good at. Uh, Dalgrim. Um, I will take my two attacks at the... Uh, Etten in the Darkness. Oh, I'll bonus action to ignite the flaming flail first. Well, the not flaming flail. To make it a flaming flail. Oh, that was. Uh, I am glad that you spelled that out for us in a way that we could all understand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, I'll attack at it. Cause all right. Everything is flat. Pummeling his big fat belly. Probably only once. I think only once. For a searing, uh, I've got to count all that. 14, 18, 21. All right. Destructor. I may have added the damage twice. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it I, not just I, 12? I had, I had to me. Um, it's added the. Uh, added, oh, it's because it, uh, it is. Yeah, I was looking at the crit. Sorry. Sorry about yeah, that. Cool. No yeah, worries. 12. You're right. All good. Perfect, perfect. Uh, and I will, uh, seeing as everyone's here to gang up on it, um, and I saw Garn just dash straight through the darkness, hear him scampering up a wall. Um, I know there's Dero over there, so I'm going to go help him out. And I will move 35 feet around here. Alright, come under fire from all of the Dero and the Spellcaster. Oh, hello there. <laughs> General Kenobi. No hits so far. I block them all with my shield as I charge forward. Our crowd favorite, Eldritch Blast. That hits for eight force damage. Aha, you have fallen into my trap. Not much of a trap. Oh, well, I'll do it again. <laughs> and that's my Don't turn. <laughs> One attack into um, uh, Marielle at disadvantage and ignore the second battle axe. My mouse is getting its key stuck and it's causing me to lose games for Armello and it's really breaking my heart. <laughs> and... <laughs> sure, that's why you're losing Arctic. Uh, I, I, go to, I go to throw like a throwing axe and do two damage and it throws the throwing axe as well as attacks the player character at the same time. <laughs> so at least I get the axe in first, you know, that's, that's, that's one consolation. But anyway, um, they both will miss, and um, uh, Lithrana's darkness spell is coming in clutch. Maybe not as well as it did in Veltenvelve, but um, it's still uh, getting an MVP today. Alright, now that we're pretty sorted... Uh, alright, I need to draw a little box for myself. 
Oh. Snap to corner. Thank you. Oh, I just had a complete, like, mind blank. Oh. That's fair. There it's we go. That spell. works. You can't even be expected to pass it. Yep. All right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Can you see through uh, that darkness? Hello? 